for this CPU to be able to work both with ROM and RAM, we need to wire them in such a way that they are activated whenever accessing the address range that is assigned to each of them based on our concept. Or we can say these two chips must be properly decoded. To keep things simple, in our little experiment, each chip will have exactly half the memory space, which is 32 kilobytes apiece. ROM will take the lower 32K and RAM the upper 32K. So the ROM will be located in the address range from 0 to 32,767 and RAM from 32,768 to 65,535. Why exactly like that and not the other way around? ROM is usually placed at the start of the address space because that's where a typical CPU starts program execution after the reset signal arrives. When you hit reset, what you actually do is zero the program counter, PC. So, address zero is where the very first firmware instruction must be located.